Hello and welcome, my artistical leaves. Uh, the microphone on works better than when it's off. Okay, we are back with the modeling stuff. So, why is my light a bit weird? Is it just the TV? Look a bit reddish. Oh well, doesn't matter much. Uh, let's go into the. Uh, this screen. Uh, oh, wait, wait. I forgot to change this. Ah, da, 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 da. Ah, da, da, da. Not this. There we kind of go. Sorry. <laughs> and yeah. this one. Completely really forgot about that. Oh, well, here we are. This works now. Okay. Uh, first. Let's make a... I forgot, how do you call those? The stuff that's behind you there. A bookcase? I doubt that this thing is a bookcase. Like, a thing with things where I can put things in. I'm completely at a loss of four words. The Billy. Yeah, Billy is not... It's a bookcase. A bookcase, not really. Or bookshelf. Shelf! Like like a standing shelf. Isn't the shelf the thing mounted to the wall? Oh, well. well yeah. Okay, shelf. So, how to do it? I guess we start with a cube. Which we then transform. Where do you have my measuring tape? I told you it's in the color. Okay. On the color. Fetching that quick. I told you to grab it and bring it back here. You didn't listen, I guess. And you think I remember that cute? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. We passed that corner about two minutes after I told you. I guess the height of two meters is kind of okayish, right? That a bit taller than I am. Two meters is fine. Oh, can you measure that thing? Yeah, I'm going on to IKEA for the measurements. Sure. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that doesn't matter. So let's say 0 0.8. And in the y-axis, it's... I think it's about 2 meters. Yeah. Or What's with the deepness? The what? The depth, yeah. The depth. I'm not here for talking. Well, I kind of am, but... <laughs> Two. Well, let's make that 30. 0 0.3. Should look good. Also, how's the music and the... Voice? That's what it's called. I think the music is just changing between two strings. Maybe. Okay. Tiny bit audible. So, no, not rotate. The location on the z-axis we need to change to... Uh, if we have it at 2 meters, it's 1 meter, right? Yes, perfect. Got the gist of that. And then we need to object, apply, scale. Mm, uh, should apply uh, position as well. Apply position. Okay. Apply location. location yeah. What does that do? That sets the origin of this object to the bottom center. Okay. So it's easier to place in unity later. Ah, okay, okay. To remember that. Yeah. And then we'll just do some K 
cuts. And we will turn on the thing. Uh, da, 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 da. It was somewhere around here. Was it you? No. Uh, this? Uh, the, the measurements. Was it? No. This, this, yeah. And edge length. We need that. Why is it saying zero? P oh, that's the depth, I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, again, now the sound should be... It's really quiet. I should put that up, you say. A tiny bit. Let's do it. The audio itself is the same we had yesterday, right? Yes. So more like this. You're behind. Okay. Uh, loop cut. Okay. So... Loop cuts. Now, how many... Shelves. Isn't there... Uh, it's fecher in German. Isn't there a word for that in English? So that we're not talking about the boards, but like the... Shelf compartment. The compartments, yes. I think I avoided the sickness that came up a bit yesterday. I don't feel it anymore really, but my word brain. I feel it your brain. Yes. Yeah, well. Uh, five? Five sounding good? How many do you have back there? I have two. I, I, you have an accident. Five? Technically I want to make six out of those because the bottom one Six. The bottom one, yeah, then we should go with six as well. Probably. Right? Yeah. So, one, two, four. We have four now. <laughs> Control R or Shift R or something. You can use the scroll of wheel to increase the cuts. So they are faced evenly. Okay. Because I don't think you will get even spacing like this. You said Control R. I'm not sure. Okay, let's resize. So, so maybe Shift or simply R? No. <laughs> R is scaling. Okay. I mean, I can slide them. Yeah, but then you need to be effects again. Oh, oh, I just thought about something that we need. Hmm. We have to divide it into more spaces. Because the yes. boards themselves. Which would make, if we have six compartments, we have eight boards? It should not be this. No. Well... Eight boards, like the top, one compartment, second one, another compartment. If you have six compartments, you have five shelves. Yeah, and top plus bottom means Six seven. Percent. Why ten suddenly? If you need the top and the bottom of the board. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. But you need the top and the bottom of the shelf itself yes. so 12 we need 12 cuts yeah if you want to include both yes we have to okay uh yeah i don't know exactly what you're looking for so we'll just do the cuts and go with that if you want to i mean try to find out how to do it here uh do you know what it's called no <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's it's good. Been about 15 years or something. Uh, and I'm not even joking. Not yeah. Much. Please stop saying that. Uh, where oh. did you actually do this? Uh, what the? Preferences. There. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, I want to test one thing really quick. Just to make sure this works as intended. Um, let's go with this. Okay, it shows up. Perfect. It's above it. Uh, uh, where to look for that even? Wait, technically, if we have stuff like graph. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, if I had a name, I could search for it even in the key map. <laughs> uh, gesture box, no, 3D, no, 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 animation, markers, frames, mask editing. No, 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 that can't be right. Subdivide. Subdivision set. We don't have subdivide, we have subdivision set. In object mode, sculpt mode, mesh, and that's it. And it's control 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What? Wait, what? Uh, why are there... F that's something else, right? Yeah. Nothing else coming up with sub, though. Screen? Screen editing? No, no, no. User interface? That does not seem right. Nothing really fits here. Hmm. Node editor? Does not seem correct, does it? Move, yeah, I mean, cut links, it, it has some stuff. With their keyboard, uh, mouse shortcuts? Control, Alt, and right mouse button. Mm -hmm. What the? Okay. Yeah, 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 I mean, it does make sense. That's... Mm. Yeah, if I don't have a name to search for, I really don't know. I'm looking. Yeah. I'm sorry you don't have any idea how to use it. I wasn't expecting you to come up with something like that. I mentioned that about five times or something. Okay. So we're gonna see. So we have this in the chat now. You can see all the commands. You can do it like this. What is the difference here? 
name, filter method name, okay, filter method key bunny. Don't really change. <laughs> okay, window, this is just file stuff. Yeah, this is not helping. Screen. This does not seem right. Split area? I think split area is not the thing we're looking for, right? That's what I'm doing. But in Blender you could use the scroll wheel to increase the cut. Yeah. Quick question. The shortcut for the split area thing is action zone area. I don't know. What? <laughs> oh, well, okay. So something about... Uh, loop cut and slide. Loop select. Maybe I just don't have this here. Okay, so. <laughs> Too bad, but what can you do, right? Let's do it the old school way. So. Now, this is the one on the bottom there. Uh, yeah, how many cuts do we need? How many cuts do we need? Should be 12, right? Yes, that, that definitely. Uh, 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was my purpose. 11, 12. Don't want to do the verticals n right now. So, uh, where was edge slide? Slide, 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 slide. Slide, slide, slide. Uh, was it in here? No. Do you have... What's this? Loop, cut, and slide. I can't put in the number of cuts. Yeah, that's what I meant, basically. Oh. Really? Yes. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Those would be spaced evenly then. Let's try this. There. And put in 12. Yeah, those are spaced evenly now. now right. The question is if we should do simply 5 to have the top of the board basically. And place by hand one below it just to make the board complete. Another problem with the automatic division here. The top... Th this top thingy here. If we only do five, then we can add the top and the bottom later. If we only do five. But we need to move per hand anyway, don't we? Because if we make this now for the top, this isn't the same height, height as this anymore. Yeah, but you can simply move them one centimeter if you... Take the two centimeters, take the four, the thing you have. Okay. But they are still space even. So, so if you now just grab those and move them a bit. Or just leave them there. It's usually you don't have perfectly equal shelves. Technically, why not? Right. So the top one isn't the same size. Yeah, and the bottom one isn't as well. Mm. Yeah. We can do that, yeah. So we need one here and one here first. Let's do top and bottom first. Mm -hmm. So we don't get distracted. Uh, there was edge slide. And then we... Select this edge and move it so it's like one centimeter thick. Mm. Uh, yeah, two. Two. That's what I meant. 
We need to zoom in for that. Yes, yes. We do. Yeah, we're gonna zoom in pretty. And... No, wait. 0 0.002, right? Is this two centimeters? Oh. Okay, yeah, this is two centimeters. <laughs> yeah. It looks so thick. Yeah. But that's just because we zoomed in quite a bunch. So now the question is... Do we want not do them above or below the other lines. Do you want the topmost to be the smallest or the bottommost? I think the topmost mean, uh, makes the most sense, right? Ah, yeah. uh, it's uh, so now we have a bit of a problem. Uh, like this. I'm gonna do them one by one, just not to get like there we go it was all the way around right yeah works perfect well 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 this works <laughs> it looks still so thick <laughs> i guess that's the thing that just can happen if you're 3d modeling right mm -hmm. due to zooming in like you wouldn't build a shelf under a microscope <laughs> so that Two centimeters seem like this thick. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Just a tad bit. That was too much. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. I think that moved just now. Uh. Somehow the number was weird just now. There was a place where I could change the number's color. Uh, because it's very bright. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was somewhere around here. Units. Uh, nope. 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 Can't do it here. Uh, which settings do you mean? These? Preferences. And preferences. I think in themes. It's a bit hard on the eye, to be honest. In themes, you think? Mm. Textile? Mm. Mm. No. Mm. Graph editor. Strip colors. Text editor is also not correct. Uh, might not be here. Or is it? Mm. Viewport? What is viewport? Okay. Uh, okay. Lights, no editing? Maybe it could be an editing. Where? User interface? Just interface? I know in themes. Oh, in themes? User interface. User interface. Yeah, that seems. Uh, I and think. Dark background, so don't go too dark. Yeah, but like a dark blue, maybe? Like this? Apparently not. Do I need to close? Turn off, turn on. No, it's. Let me just check if it is still changed. 
Can you please not put it over there? That's a weird place. Mm, it's still changed, but that was that blue. Redeem new Atlas set. What? Hmm? Redeem new. Uh, I have 3D viewport. Camera, vertex, bevel, edge sharp, bevel, edge length text. Ah, there it is. Ah, this seems nice. Look, this looks better. I think I can work with that. It, it's it's a bit hard on the eyes. That light blue and that light gray is... Uh, not that I one day need to wear glasses or something. That would be awful, right? Zero point two. Technically, right? Mm -hmm. If I have it at zero point zero two zero two. It's kinda more realistic because they probably aren't the exact thickness down to the millimeter, right? Mm, they probably are because it's a machine that made this. Yeah, also if I don't do it, I feel... Mm. <sighs> that, that bothers me too much. And can you please close? Thank you. Ah, we had it. We had it just now. Can I actually... Oh! If I hold the mouse button and use the arrow keys, mm -hmm. I can move it. Yeah. By 0 0.0202... No, by 0 0.0002 meters. Which is 2 millimeters, right? I guess you could try enabling snapping. Maybe that's easier. Uh, snapping. We'll see. Cut. And move. It moves something. Uh, it goes from 0 0.0333 to 0 0.0167. And I cannot use the arrow keys anymore. Uh, maybe we, if we would, uh, well, it was increment, but snapping to vertexes, edges, faces, volume, that all doesn't make any sense, right? Mm, can I snap to grid? Snap to grid. I can make a check mark at absolute grid snap. Okay. That's all. Okay, I think increment is Yeah, but that switches me between set numbers. Yeah. Don't think this will work well. Oops, overshot it. There we go. I didn't meant to scroll there, but oh well. Where's the shortcut for this? No. None for each slide. Well then. Never mind. Oh, why are you doing this now? The arrow keys seem very random in how much they increase. Gosh darn it! Oh, we're at the bottom already. Uh, the bottom should be a bit higher because, like, 
normally it's a bit higher. It depends on how big. I mean, it could be one with that's just like, yeah, but normally it's a bit thicker, right? So, I'm gonna do it Kallax style. Well, we have to do the top one also a bit thicker then. If we do it Kallax style. Yeah. With the frame. So let's do five. five four. Four? I'm sure four. Double sounds good. I mean, we don't have to mimic this, but. Uh, no, wait. This one. Why aren't you? Wait. I think I forgot the cut. Yeah, I forgot to cut it again. I think. Did I? No, I made a cut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cut. That's that's the cut. I did cut it. So let's go for four. Because why not? Four. Then we go up here. And raise this to four as well. Ah, there it was. Come on. There. Now, when did we do the middle cut? That was probably an accident. Happy little accident, because we need it anyway. So let's move this right away. And have it be four as well. There. And then... Where's my mouse? There. On the other side, we need another cut. There we go. And uh, let's collapse that. Going for four again. Perfect. Let's have a look. Is it just me or doesn't it seem equal? Something seems off. Wait a minute. That's because you made uh, an additional self. I did, down here. Yeah. But I don't mean that. Like, the left and the right side? They should both be 0 0.4, so... I think it's just me. Now, do I want to keep that down there? I think that's just because the color difference. Hmm. Just seems a bit. Yeah, that's not okay. Tiny for this side. Is it centimeters or something? It is. 14. <laughs> so, let's remove that. What did you remove there? Oh no, oh no, oh no. What, what are you doing? Oh no, oh no, no. If I remove it, it does this. Why? Okay, uh, this one? Remove. Doesn't work. This one? Remove? I mean, I only did loop cuts. I cannot have messed something up. Apparently you did. Uh... I mean, just delete it and make new faces. Maybe if we select it as an... When we not select it as vertices, but edges, it works. Good. I didn't even notice that I was in vertex editing, which doesn't matter really, but 
Right. So, and now? All we have to do is uh, not bevel, the, the slide. What? Not slide, um, what's it called? Oh. Extrude, yeah. Did you just say extrude? Yeah. I heard something different, sorry. Extrude the faces. Inwards. Let's uh, wait. I'm not good with this. Is it region or normals, individuals? Oh no, you're. Perfect. Perfect. What are you doing right now? I wanted to mark all of them to make them, to to make them at the same time. Okay. But it selects the board face in between. Are you on face select? I am in face select. Like. Yeah, that's nice and handy if you need it like that, but like. I don't. Oh, I know, I know. If I use shift instead of control. Yeah, it's shift. Okay. Uh, I think we need the side view to see the measurements, right? Yeah, we can. So, wait, was it along normals or just region? You can do it along normals. Along normals. Normals basically point out directly from the face. Okay. If they are set up correct. Uh, where's my movement tool for it? Your what? Do I just do it like this? Okay. Uh, it's... It's a bit hard to see where our number is exactly. Uh... Uh, it's behaving weirdly. Yes, because I think you're not doing the right thing. Like, or I have to go up and down to move it left and right. Mm. So, let's eyeball it because, like, the back thing doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> How thick it is exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, I think, it. Right? Mm -hmm. So. And uh, now the cleanup thingy. Uh, select all. Select all. So. It's just a. And. Was it mesh? Merge. Merge. By distance. And no vertices removed. As was expected. But just in case, right? And there is our shelf. Cupboard. Is it called a cupboard? Something like that. Does look nice, right? Yeah, that's that's good. I should have saved way more often as in I should have saved. Uh no no no. Go up one furniture. So should we call it cupboard or should we call it cupboard or shelf? It's not for books. Shelf zero zero one. Let's do space. Shelf, ah, one zero. On the yeah, then let's call it bookshelf. Okay. I don't even know if we need more than one. <laughs> like, how much difference can you make with them, right? You can have uh, different amounts of shelves. Yeah, different sizes. But yeah, this is good for now. Okay, next piece of furniture. Whoops. I thought that he, as well as the others, need beds. I cannot decide on a style of bed. Then wait to something new. 
because like the world of Monster Leader is very futuristic while at the same time being very natural you could say like there are a lot of wild spaces but the cities themselves can be very high tech now they live in a village but that doesn't mean they have like rural homes or something they can still have like yeah. Just decide. Or do something different. Don't you think? Huh. So basically, I really think like just a normal like a box with a mattress on it. Kind of like that, like our bed, kind of. However, do I do that as one model? We forgot something important: the beveling. We're not finished. Uh, not everything should be beveled here. Definitely not. Uh, yeah. Like, basically just a rectangular bed. But should the mattress be a separate thing or should that be the same model? Do you need it to come out of it? No. Stand it's just down. standing there. He might lay in there, but that's just important for the blanket and the pillows, which shouldn't be included in that case. Okay. You can still include them in the model, but of different objects. Yeah, I guess. So we need this. You did not select as I anticipated this. Uh, let, let's hand select. I always feel with the beveling stuff, hand selecting each one is less prone of a possible error. Right. So this, this, the inner ones, of course. I don't think uh, the back wall needs a bevel, right? No, no, no. The inner thing is very sharp edged, you could say. You probably want to have the edge this yeah. It probably rather makes it look more ugly than better. So, we are not doing that. Oh, wait, the small one in between here. Can't forget about these. Okay, then I think I have an idea for his bed. Maybe we should do something for Minami as well. <laughs> Only working on Higashi stuff, kinda. Well, I mean, like, she probably has these shelves as well. And maybe even the same desk, because why not, right? It's like... It's not even laziness or something, it's just like, it's the standard desk. No need to go fancy for each character in the world, right? Okay, I don't think I missed anything here. Let's go over here then and mark this, 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 and this. Uh, you have a bit of an eye on the chat, right? Doing this needs a bit of concentration. Can't really look away right now. Side needs this and this and this and then this side needs this there there 
there. There, there. This, 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 this. Almost forgot the in-between things. Oh, 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 no. Let's easily fix the boom ball. Uh, I'm starting to get blind for this marking, uh, but that should be it. So, now boom. This, of course, looks very not good. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 what happened? There? Wasn't there a way to... Put a number in? Yeah. 0 0.02 should be enough, right? Zero point zero zero two. Okay. I mean, it looks good. I would say. This is okay. Yeah, it's still four-sided. It's just a bit. Why though? Just moved my mouse. Probably, yeah, the desk seems a bit, um, <laughs> the, f the feet that come with these things are awful. The yeah, the glue. Like, okay, uh, is this really how it should be? Like, it's more of a trapezoid now. <sighs> yeah, 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 it, no, wait. Like, if you look at it from the front, see here, this part. Yeah. It's not a squ well, it wasn't a square, but like. It's more of a rectangle. Yeah. Is that how it should happen? Yeah. Why? Because the barrel moved the edge down a bit. Oh, now, yes, yes, now I get it. It moved down the edges of the inner boards. But not out here. Mm -hmm. That's how it was intended. So okay, that's fine. Just looked a bit weird, but it's how it's working. It can't work well. I guess you could put them in play, but why? It won't change anything, right? As long as it's four pointed or well, three pointed in the end. Everything is poop. Do you want to tell me something? Yes. Your brain is poop. I have a battle. Uh, okay. Now we save it. And... Uh, quick some th Quickly some things. We do the merch again by distance. Which did nothing. Perfect. And that's it. So, I have an idea for the bed. Let's do that. Why not, right? So, new. Again, this can just be a model for beds in general. It won't be a special, specific one. Honestly, that can even be shared by, like, kinda everyone if we make it different through the pillows and stuff, right? Like, Minami could have different pillows than Higashi, and the blanket especially, so... Yeah, I think the bed will be very multi-use. Maybe we'll do two or three variants, but not for the demo. Okay, I made my block... Uh, 
How high is a bed? The tone. I mean, you're not sleeping one meter into the air, right? Nope. Uh, like the size of ours. Without the mattress, kinda. Without the mattress. Without the mattress, I. So it's probably about forty centimeters. Forty. Let's let's go with forty. That would be the z-axis zero point four. Okay. How long is the bed? Like two meters is working, right? Two meters is easy. Yes. At least the mattress is two meters. But yeah, <laughs> that's not that important, <laughs> right? <laughs> we don't need to be too nitpicky. When it comes to the size, the general size. Being a bit nitpicky when it comes to the cuts, that those are kind of the same, even though, like, a few millimeters really don't make a difference. People wouldn't be able to tell. But yeah. Now the width of a one. Well, let's say two people should be able to sleep there. But like. Huh. I mean, could 90 work when we were together and... 90 is basically half of our bed. Well, that seems uncomfortable. But like... You used to sleep on one of those. <sighs> but if you remember, the one I had at my parents was 120. That was 120. Yeah. I think we give him that. Because like, he and me and me are a thing and, you know... They are 16, and that's a different way of, uh, a different flow of time. They are technically way older than 16 in days. A year has more days in that world. I'm not saying they enjoy something there except sleeping. Just like, should be comfortable, but still a bed for a kid's room. A kid's room. You know. Yeah. So 120 seems... Right? That seems... I know how that seems, to be honest. <laughs> it just, like... Yeah, this looks bad-like, kind of. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, location, location. The location. Should be half of the height, right? Perfect. Why do I even bother with that? Is that important? It's for Blender, kind of, right? Uh, for Unity. For Unity. Okay, so we have our basic here. Whoa! Sorry. Don't say story if you don't stop after sorry. that. Sorry! <laughs> I put my foot back again. Uh, and... Apply. Object... Apply a location. Doesn't matter which one first, right? Yeah. And scale. Is there an apply everything? Like the rotation and stuff like... Okay, well, do it. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Well, okay. Oh, wait, 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 I just... Oh, look at this! You know the tutorial set? Object, blah, blah. But we have them here. Apply location, rotation, scale. Those tutorials were bad. <laughs> Sorry to say it again. They were for older of yeah, that might be. They were for a bit of an older version, so maybe I'm. That's the thing here. Okay, boom. Uh, we need to go into edit mode now. Okay plan. Let's go over the plan. Whatever you just did. Stop it. Let's go over the plan. So, I want to make some cuts. Like, cut a rectangle out of it. Mm -hmm. And raise that for the mattress. Round the edge of the mattress more than, like, 
Not just beveling it, I think a few loop cuts in there. Wait, loop cuts wouldn't work. Uh... How? Because if I just make one cut, one line, mm -hmm. we have a problem. Because we have five vertices then. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, it's not like... Uh... I guess we have to tackle it anyway. So, yeah. But we want to have a back of the bed, like, um, what do you call that? Headboard. I think we should do that first, right? So, which will be kind of easy. We just do face select, extrude this one. And make it like I should put the sizes on again. <laughs> also, Z that. And make it a bit nicer. How about like. What did, would you say how thick ours is? Like. 10 centimeters? Five. Let it be 0 0.049. Let's just go with that. It's not that... It's really that thin compared to the bed. Okay, well. I guess. Okay, and then we extrude this to... Uh, yeah, I think this looks good, right? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I pressed the wrong mouse button. Right, that seems high enough. I have no exact numbers right now here, but like... Well. I guess you don't need to be too exact with stuff like that, right? For the shelf? Yeah, there, yes. Of course. Because, like, yeah, also for the mattress, that, uh, yeah, that that's working out. So, now we need loop cuts, of which we need one, two, oh, oh no, oh no, uh, we have a bit of a problem here. No, actually we don't. Forget about that. Because it looped around here, but if I extrude, like, this, basically I will extrude this face. Just, like, the edges mm -hmm. pushed to where they should be. <laughs> so there won't be a problem. What do you say? Are the sides, like, one centimeter and maybe four for the foot? And... We don't have sides on our side. Sides, yeah. yeah. I think one centimeter. Maybe two. Let's give him two. I think I need to zoom in. Do I? Maybe I don't. Look at that. Wrong direction. Perfect. And then we use this. Uh, 
Honestly, I wanna... Uh, the numbers. They overlap. Oh no. Stop that. Ah, oh, come on! Why are you doing this? Give me an angle where they don't do it. Let's say it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, the problem is um, it took the number for this and this edge. And they overlap. So are hard to see. So I'm gonna eyeball it a bit for that. <laughs> because, like, not really something I can do there. See how the numbers overlap for the two... But this seems fine. Okay, so. First. I'm saving. Save as. Bet. Zero. One. What are you doing right now, by the way? Nothing. Nothing. I can't do anything because I have a question. Have a few seconds. Sorry. And then we extrude. Don't worry, there will be another question soon. <laughs> so... About... This head... This works. Standing out about like six centimeters. Yeah, yeah, that seems fine. I like that. Okay, before we tackle that babbling. Should I bevel this the, the where the bed touches the ground as well? I wouldn't Right, right. Just the edges above. Bevel bevel. Bevel, bubble, bevel, bubble. You will bevel, you will bevel. And you, no, 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 not you. You will bevel. You will go to Beverly Hills. You also will bevel. You and you, and you, and you, as well as you, and you, and you, oh no, I deselect the bubble. I think that's the Dragon Quest Eight world map theme. You and you. So, bevel. Let's do this again at 0 0.02. Seems all right. Wait, does it seem all right? Mm. 
Uh, wait, wait. Why is it beveling outwards? Shouldn't I do along normals? Oh! Should maybe do the right I thing, should yeah. do bevel. <laughs> See, that works now. <laughs> oh. Why is it so much? Zero point zero zero two. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now it's fine. So now the problem I have: what? rounding the mattress because that should be rounded more, right? Yes. But that would need more edges, wouldn't it, to look good? But if I let's say put an edge here, then this has five vertices. But if I do another loop cup, it cuts the bed as well. Yeah. Huh? Isn't that a problem? No, why would it, right? You are correct. The question is how many would we need? Like three in total? So, um. Depends. That really depends. Like one there, and well, technically two there. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. Wait, 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 wait. How? What do you mean? work Not really. so you're saying I mark this and then bevel so you mean I don't maybe even need that Oh, it bevels anew. So, more like this. So, and now you want a loop cut in here. And do what now? Um, basically, scale it out. Scale? Yeah. Uh, in which direction? So... Which doesn't do... Anything? Okay, well. Whoops. Uh. This is. No. I cannot really do a tiny bit for some reason. Uh. Why though? Like, like, let me do just a tiny, teensy bit. You won't let me do that.
I mean, most of the time I would see them with the blankets, but not all the time, right? Yeah, and you can have the blankets adjust to the mattress. That would... Yeah. How do you even model a blanket? Just... Um, just a... Just a rectangle? Just on? Just a simple blanket, a rectangular with maybe rounded yeah, off should edges. Should it conform to the body if it's below the blanket? Should it yes. conform to the web? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you need to uh, basically drop I mean, I know what to do technically, it's just not working right now. Why is it doing that much? Yeah. Yes, resize. Like this? Look. There. To this. And if we... What do you mean? Oh, you mean... Better now? So I did this. And this. Uh, no, wait. That, that's extruded out now. What? I put it at the... S no, only the y-axis this time. Yes, and X as well. X looking kind of good now. Like this, right? Y? Not. Try minus. So, uh, 0 0.99. This. Um. Okay. No. Then, uh, 1.005. Just play around with it. Yeah, that might work, right? Yeah. Will, will this turn out roundish after rendering then? Like, a mattress is slightly roundish, I guess, but like... You can try selecting those three edges now and enable smooth shading. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not loop cut. Okay. okay. So, uh, do I need to select these as well? Uh, those going. Yeah. Yes. Basically, the one below that is the one Yeah, it should be. I hope it doesn't mess up. Because if that would be the case, then maybe we should have done the mattress separately. After all, we get this to work. Doesn't make sense making two models out of this if it's never separated in the game, right? Flip flop! Thanks for the raid! Hello, everyone! Uh, it just happened, right? Okay, I didn't miss anything. Hello, how are you all doing? As you can see, we are making a bed. So if you're feeling sleepy, well, <laughs> we are making a bed. <laughs> okay. Do we have everything selected? We have this. We have this. And this. Yes, Black Kitty. 
Flip rate. Everyone's here. Nice. And we're going to drink it. Milk is good and it has plenty of protein. In relying on you to find me at the ranch kitty. Okay. Uh, so you wanted to turn on something. Smooth shading. I actually have seen that somewhere. Let us save this. Ah, smooth shading. Shading. We are in shading uh, mode in, in soon. Oh. Oh, it looks good in white. It's not what you wanted. Uh, two icons in the top. Render. Uh, shading. Here! Viewport shading. Viewport shading. Viewport. Wait, maybe this isn't it. Why are they all called the same? Is. I have a feeling this is not what you're looking for. No one knows! Hello! Big balls? Thornic! <laughs> Where's my cat? Oh, Thornic and 3D modeling. This will be fun. This stupid thing doesn't really hold anymore. Thornic likes bad, but Thornic himself rather sleeps on rock. Glennon, hello. Come back to the Cheers show, guys. to you. Yes, give it a shot. <laughs> See, this wouldn't have happened if you had a hammer. Always take a hammer with you. Always. I started the raid, waited, and was left in my own stream. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, so the raid raided you. <laughs> okay. Fallout 3 is uh, kind of freaking me out right now. A purple cat. Magic creature. Will it die, though? It didn't die. That's an amazingly buggy mess that Twitch has. Yeah, well. Maybe they should fix it with a hammer. Uh, rate just didn't rate. Well. If a rate doesn't work out, it's always a letdown. No blood baths. No skulls getting cracked. It's always so sad if a raid is bad. But your rate is great. I appreciate that. There's not much a hammer can't fix. Correct. You have enemies? A hammer can fix that. You have people disagreeing with your opinion? A hammer can fix that. You have a Twitch account? That's just sad. Oh, I meant Twitter, not Twitch. Uh, Twitch doesn't Twitch, yes. I think that's all it's doing. Like something recently dead. Yeah. I said I rated with 14, but Twitch can be a bit of a pain. I think you almost said a naughty word there. You know? Little secret. There are naughty words engraved on my hammer. And somewhere else. What are we making today? Well, we made a shelf already. And now we're making a bed, which is almost done as well. We still need to find out that... How to crush the edges into curves or rounded edges, you could say. 
I don't know why. Why does the world need round things like... Oh... Oh, correct. The handle would be very uncomfortable if it wasn't round. Also, imagine the skulls of your enemies being squared, not round. That... That would probably be a lot of fun, like hitting right on the edges or corners. More to crack there. I like that idea. Uh, without round things, we'd cut ourselves on a bunch of sharp stuff. Only if you're not a god like Thornic is. And if you aren't that, well, you deserve to bleed. What about a sharp peepee? -pee? What else should the peepee -pee be, if not sharp? Isn't that normal? Should I see the medic? Imagine all the cuts Minecraft characters get because their world is entirely blocky. They are blocky as well, though, so they just, like... Can they even move in a fashion that would put them on the edges? Do they have three-dimensional movement? I never played Minecraft. It's all about building, and that's boring. I like destroying more. I play Dragon Quest Builders for that because you have a hammer there. We would all love that. Yes, we all love the hammer. I live by the hammer, and I will not die by the hammer because I won't die. That would mean I would lose to life, and I would never lose. Okay. Do you have found something, wife, or need I to crush you and get another one? Like every Tuesday. That gesture isn't good for children. I appreciate it, though. There should be some... Sh yes. Some buttons, but I can't find them. If I okay. disable the buttons, they... Nothing changes. Huh. I enable them again. Nothing that is weird. Not sure. I mean, we have stuff here. Huh. I do have these shading viewports. I don't know what they do. Apparently, nothing. Oh. It just, uh, no. White. Oh, what is this? That was black. Oh, it's different now. Huh. Weird. Suddenly the world turned black. Yeah, that's because you don't have a light. But, but there is a light. But like, you don't know, the ancient Romans built that thing that we call sun now. A whole earth. The whole disk that is called Earth, is lightened up by that. Just kidding. The Earth is not flat, of course. That would be ridiculous. Even Thornic, who isn't the most intelligent, knows that. Okay. I have no idea. I need to look into that. That is bad. So I guess we'll just save it and yeah, postpone that. Okay, so what do we do now? Definitely a new one. Shall we make a hammer? We don't need a hammer for this. Hmm. Wait, we don't need a hammer for this? That's a bad game. That can't be a good game then, right? No, but Thornic is what? Thornic is over? Fare thee well, my friends. No, my voice will not do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now... For reals. We definitely don't need a ha- Wait. Is there a monster with a hammer? Huh. Uh, okay. Uh, now my mind is full of hammers. We have a shelf. We have a desk. We have a bed. What else is in a room? We do... 
not have a chair that would fit a working desk, but... Hmm? It's not a rolling chair, at least. Would you even model? I mean, how would you model that? Of course, uh... Yeah, fair. But let's not. That seems like a bit to model, <laughs> to be honest. So, you can just use normal chair or something. Uh, a lamp. <laughs> a, do a door. <laughs> A door would be adorable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we need to figure out how to do houses. Yeah, for, for the houses, my plan is basically the door as an extra model, so it's easier to move. I guess that makes sense, right? We don't need to make a donut. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy making it. Yeah, I know you mean with sprinkles and stuff, but like... Uh, I want to do some easy things that can be still used in the game. So, well, a donut technically? In a bakery, maybe? Won't be that stupid. But for the demo, we might not need that. But yeah, I keep it in mind, definitely. Um, Oops. Oops. Uh, yeah, uh, for for the house, I wanted to make the ground layout, how the house looks like first, and then we can build it from there. And yeah, like I said, the yeah. I don't know what you mean by that in that case, but well. Uh, what did you say just now? A book. A book. A book. But isn't a book kind of just a flat cube? A flat cube, that's not a cube. Like, what about a bookcase or sink and fridge? Yeah, sink and fridge. Actually, we do need those. I need to model a kitchen. Oh, you want to make it that realistic? <laughs> I don't think that's needed <laughs> with all the nooks and crannies. But, like, uh, stuff for the kitchen. I do plan to make the living room and the kitchen, like, an open combo. Like that. Because, I don't know, it's kind of cool. So, a fridge. Let's start with a fridge. How to go about a fridge, though? Something with doors. Uh, I mean, we definitely start with a cube. We are zoomed very far in. So, how would you... Well, the doors don't need to be openable. So, right? For what? For, for a fridge? Mm, really? No, for this game they don't, so we can go the easy route on those. Uh, I think two meters again is a good size for a fridge. That's about how big ours is. Mm. No? Oh, it's actually one only a two meter fridge so be able to reach okay so 180 180 might be okay yeah. 1.8 in height uh, how deep is it how deep is a fridge it depends. It always depends. But like a comfortable uh, deepness. We're gonna do French door style. A fridge sounds like fun, actually. <laughs> we could do one of the knock knock ones like we have. <laughs> no, that would be. <laughs> I mean, that would be a texture thing anyway. <laughs> no, let, let's keep it simple. We can give it a nice metallic texture when we get into texturing and stuff. But yeah. Mm, how deep? How deep? Like I would say... Oh, I was... It's 90 wood. 
I was about to say 30. 70. 70? 30? That wouldn't even fit your bottle. Wouldn't? This bottle is higher than 30 centimeters? The door and stuff has... Okay. So you say 70. Yes, I'll put 73.5 centimeters. Okay, 70 is... Okay. And the width you said 90. Let's make it one meter. Run it up there. Because why not? And that means we need to put it up by... Uh, zero... No, wait, it's not one meter, it's uh, 180, so by zero 0.9. There we go. Fridge done? No, of course not. We'll do more to this. This looks like a box. Okay. Uh, yeah, we learned apply location and apply scale is over here, which is awesome. And now it needs some details, right? So, edit mode, here we are. Gonna save, so we can save. Uh, okay, now the question is, would it be weird for a game if every person in the whole country it plays and has the same fridge? Or do we need multiple fridges? Do we really need to enter every house? That as well, I don't plan on every house being... So just the fridge is... Just one fridge is okay. Like, your rival's house, Minami's house, Higashi's house, those are enterable. And and a few others, maybe, because of some side quests or stuff. But not every house, because... I like the illusion of a world being bigger than it is. And no enterable houses helps with that. Okay, so how to go about this firstly. Now, we have. How detailed do we want it to be? Like, do we need the. What do you even call that? Handle. It's not a handle, like ours has. Is that still called a handle? Uh, are using a modifier to round the edges. I'm beveling them. Not with a mo modifier. Directly. Is there a modifier that can do that? Or would that work for us? Hmm. I mean, I can look on the modifiers. I have no idea what you're expecting me to do. We have... Oh boy, we have a lot of modifiers. Oh look, there's a cloth for the for the, 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 the. Is that what you meant for the blanket? A cloth for the the oh boy. Yeah, it's not good. yeah. The fluid. Explode? Interesting. Uh there's a bevel modifier. But if there's something we don't want beveled, right? Rounded. Huh. Well, need to look into that. We have the subdivision surface modifier here. Is that what you were looking for earlier by no. any chance? No. Good. <laughs> A smooth modifier smooths the whole block. Oh, they are smooth. I mean... That does the whole thing. That's maybe not what we want, though. Right? Because, like... The bed, for example, had... Uh, the, the stuff that touched the bottom, we left that as sharp. And the inside of the shelf, also, there were some sharp edges, because, like... Shelves have some sharp edges, after all. Technically, we wouldn't even need it to round the boards. Like, that shelf over there has sharp-edged boards. So, uh, but I keep that in mind. For some things, that will be very handy. So, okay. Uh, first, we should divide for the doors. So that they look divided. Doing that only via the texture would probably look bad, right? 
The left and the right door. Yeah, but... Only with the text I would look not good. Yeah, let's let's do a real cut in there. So we need two loop cuts for that. That should be. Are all the doors of our fridge equally in? No. The the fridge side is bigger than the freezer side, right? They look equal to me. No, they don't. Okay, so... Let's give that... Like 40 centimeters? Okay. Yeah, don't... Don't worry too much about it. 40 centimeters and... How much space is in the slit? Like... Not much, right? Probably like this. Oh, that might be... The slit in between the doors. Some, something like that, I guess. Yeah, that seems about right. So, a bit smaller here, and a bit bigger there. Is the freezer too small? What do you think? How much did you do? About 40 centimeters. Okay. Yeah? It sounds right, but looking at it... Yeah. It looks like a massive difference. What are you doing? You and looking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at guessing stuff like this. <laughs> my eyes have been weird since my birth. <laughs> I got my first glasses when I was like one year old. Whoopsie. Hit the camera. <sighs> okay. I guess we go with this then. So, and then we can just extrude it a bit, right? Depends on your technique, yeah. That yeah. should work. Extrude it in more. Yeah, yeah. Intrude it technically, right? So. I mean, how deep? Like one centimeter, maybe? What? Four. Zero point zero four. Oh, no, wait. Minus zero point zero four. And it kinda did not work. Uh, wait, wait, it did. It, uh, wait, what? I see what happened here. Yes, okay. Uh, we need to delete that face. <clears throat> we need to... We... We need to... What? Uh... What? Wait, wait, what is happening here? Do we need to do... Oh, oh, I might know what's up. Deleted like...
delete the vertices. Yeah, if I delete that, that messes up everything. That won't work. Definitely not. Uh, now, why did you do what you did? It left a face. Huh? It left a face there. Yeah. Just there. How would you get rid of this? Uh, is it a face or is it an edge? I mean... I can't... That looks weird. I can't select... Can't really select it like this. As an edge, I can select this, this this and this easily. Did you delete the front one? It stays there. I think <laughs> you made a mistake while extruding. Okay. Maybe you extruded twice or something. Oh, Let's sure. go back to when nothing was extruded. If I can... I can't. Damn it. But I only extruded once. Definitely. I don't know. I didn't look. I was away for two seconds. Yes, don't I go away. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> like, I should be able to delete it just like that, right? But it's not working. What could I do? <laughs> Let's throw a pickup at you. Let's see one thing. Merge by distance. It removed nothing. Good, we have no doubles. So, extruded, Yeah, that's in here. This one. That's still there. Like Look from the bottom and try selecting that short face there. From the bottom. I just looked. There's the bottom view. And then you say select that. that. Exactly what I meant, but yeah, try. What? Yeah, just there. Remove. Same thing. It acts as if it was removing it, but it is not. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a second. But, like... You see that? It only selected this face now. Yeah. Now I delete it. Yeah. It's still there. However... I mean here. Oh. But now I deleted this as well. Okay. Um, you know what? What? There's no matching edge at the bottom and the top to that thing. That's the problem I think. So we need to cut uh, triangles into it. Awesome. No. 
What do we need to do? <laughs> I'm not that dumb, normally. Often. Sometimes. Like if I do a cut from here to there? No, I wouldn't fix it. You pull technically and then up the side and all wrong, but I'm not sure if that fixes the problem. Doesn't sound like it to be honest. <sighs> if you just remove the intruder stuff and close the face again. You mean like select this? Yeah. Delete? Yeah, and the one on the left and the right as well. On the left, delete. And on the right, delete. And go back to the top and check if that's still a uh, patch there. No, it's not. Okay, so you should be able to fill that hole now to the face. Which hole? The hole we just created by deleting the intruder. Oh, you want this? Like. There. Yeah. There. There. And so down. And down here. Why is my mouse like this? That's weird. Shouldn't be. Uh, and it was face and fill, right? Okay. Fill. Uh -huh. That did not work. That did something weird. Change it to vertex selection. Vertex, okay. And. Wait. What? This must select it. Something strange. Wait, what That's is. That's the main line. That's a diagonal. Where does that come from? Okay, uh, let's edge select that diagonal. If I can. And delete it, right? You still have a face now. For some reason, yes. Even though I went back to that face being deleted. Okay. So I did this and then extruded. Yes, then that's a problem because we are all the stuff. Okay. Um. I think the smooth modifier for this might even work. Oh, well, the bottom should be sharp, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we can try that. Once it's finished. Um, uh, I think what we should do is move the front back by all four centimeters for the doors, and then just extrude the doors also. Wait, what? Reduce the depth of the fridge by four centimeters, and then extrude the doors out instead of intruding the slit. Okay. The depth, which would be the y-axis. Okay, in that case, you can tell me how. You select that and move it by four centimeters. The whole front faces, whatever. We're right now in faces, so this, and then. Move it by four centimeters on the y axis. With tweak, right? I don't know. By four centimeters. So zero point zero four. Like this. Yes. 
ein Auto ist jetzt tot, tot, tot. Uh, Just the doors. Mhm. Wait. Ja, das ist soweit. Just extrude them. Bye. Zero point zero four. Okay. <laughs> Apparently not. I can do the mesh. Didn't remove anything. Perfect. That's what we want. Okay. Save. And uh, now the handles. I think we'll just make the edge because, like, you won't look under there, right? You can look in from the top and it has a handle thing there as well. Okay. You can just add normal handles to grab if you want. Honestly, yeah, that sounds like a good idea because, like, modern fridges might be like a flat front mm -hmm. but in a game you would rather recognize it with a handle right as a fridge okay. but yeah a normal handle so how do we handle that <laughs> so we need loop cuts like Two for each side, right? Mm -hmm. Like this and this. And then come on. What the You need to be close to an edge, but to decide which way to be. So like this. And then move those to the points where we want them. Yeah. So We can eyeball this a bit. <laughs> then tell me the measurements of a... whatever. Make it the same on both sides. That's what she said. Okay. Because it will be visible otherwise. That makes sense. So let's go for like... 20 centimeters. Why doesn't it look the same? Because it kind of wasn't. Did it look at the wrong number? Come on, don't jump by two. There we go. And then how thick should it be? Like... Let's do three. squared would be best, right? Is the height okay? For the handle. Which side should be thicker than the other then? Should be higher than 
What kind of handle are you going for? I think we go in two different directions here. Remember our old fridge? No. Google's fridge. I don't have a browser. Well, I do have a browser open. Okay, fridge. Let's have a look at fridges. So we want a handle like this, not like this. Because these ones are if you have a horizontal. Okay. Split, but we have a vertical split. That makes more sense. Uh, so the height of where the handle starts and stops should be. So like this. That work? I wish it would tell me to be honest. Uh, uh, zero point seven and nice. I cannot read that. And zero point four five. Which is uh, a bit over a meter. A meter for the bottom. Yeah. And then. Maybe about 30 centimeters straight. Okay. That's a meter. And then about 30, you say. Well, let it be 299 then. That's really not the nitpickiness we need right now. <laughs> so, you think this worked? This looks so high. Doesn't it? This kind of looks high, doesn't it? Hmm. Damn. People who <laughs> make fridges. <laughs> what did you do for the bottom? One meter, like you told me. That seems. Guess it just looks off because, like, I don't know. I don't know. But you think so as well, right? It looks very high. Oh well. Probably. So now we need to extrude, right? This. This and this, right? Um, depends on how you want to do it. But we need to have your foot. That will be the we tricky can part. Either only extrude the connected points. Where the handle connects to the switch. Okay. Or so the vertices. For that we need two more loop cuts. Yes. For the first one. The other one I don't quite understand what you mean. Which points?
that far I do understand, but like if I extrude the vertices, yeah. it will modify the shape of the model. If I go into vertice mode. And let's say this. And, whoops. Not that. This. No, you, you're not only extruding a vertex, you make another loop cut to give it some height for the connecting part. And then extrude a small. Then don't say up. for the. For that one, I need to do more loop cuts, and for the other one, I don't. For the first one. Then let's. Okay. Okay, let's do more loop cuts then. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't! And it's your fault. No, it's not! <laughs> I mean, if you're free, you can model it as well. Uh, like. a centimeter? Even be too much, Maybe right? Four yeah. Mm. I'm not a professional fridge maker. Maybe one and a half. One and a half. Okay. One and a half. Zero point zero one five. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, I pressed zero. Oh, you're being a Let me move. Don't jump from 4.7 to 4.8 and then to 5.2. How far in do I need to zoom for this? There we go. So, I would say cutting a hole is the not so good idea. This, as well as this, this, and this. Okay, so how far, how far out? How thick are hands? How thick are hands? Okay, four centimeters again. Four, yeah, like a hand is like a centimeter to two, depending on the person. So the thickest part of my hand comes to four until five centimeters. There is some area. And the hole should only be four centimeters. Yes, because it's so strong. And fingers. And fingers are good. Let's give it five. Okay, uh, top view, please. Extrude. Zero point zero five. This looks so weird. Now the same faces by another um, another half. Zero point zero one five. Now we want to connect these second extrusions. Yes, by basically. Marking the vertices and fill in the face, right? Yeah, but please leave the face that would be inside then. Do you have a better idea? I'm open for that. No, it's okay, but delete the faces first, please. If it works. It works. And at the bottom as well. That's the thing I did not do for that chair. Now we should be able to connect these. 
like select this. I hope I'm doing this correctly. So this as well. I'm going to see face fill. Okay, I expected that we might have a bit of double facing going on. Not that? What the? Faces. Filling in faces works best with screen tabs connecting edges. You should be able to create edges by everybody. And then fill in the faces. So, like this. And this. And then. Uh, and then? I don't know. I, I would have thought it was just like there. It has face fill. Under vertex, you have make edge slash yeah. face. Yeah. Not if the face is under face. <laughs> That's weird. But shouldn't I be shouldn't able to I mark all... No, then they would go diagonally. Uh, make edge face. Do you have... No, you don't have... A cut of the short. It's a bit of a finicky thing. I did something wrong here. I pressed shift too early. Uh, this one. I'm starting to struggle a bit to see <laughs> what has already been defaced. No, be faced. And now I should be able to select the edges and face them. Mouse? That was weird. Right? Mm -hmm. And I think I can select... That should work. Selecting all four for each, right? I just can't select the other ones because... Why? Do you think we get diagonal faces? How to calculate where faces should be? Yeah, so we would get diagonal faces, you say. Maybe. Oh, do I need to? Fill. No faces filled. I need to mark these, which... You need to mark all the edges. Make the yeah, makes sense. And looks but, but. Yeah. Maybe. I can just delete it. I mean, I could leave it there, right? Because, like, mm -hmm. in the end, it doesn't even matter. It's not that the diagonal there does not make sense. Yeah, it's doing that. I guess that's just for... How... Yeah. For stuff. Right? I'm good ex at explaining what I mean, right? into this. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is not made for my eyes. Fill, I think. Yes, that was right.
it's this one and this one hopefully it's starting to get a bit hazy for my eyes I guess after this fridge we also raid out I'm getting very hungry and I just made a fridge I just realized how fitting Okay, face. Fill. Okay, looking good. Right. Now, let's save this. And now let's try the modifier and see what it does. Uh, it won't let me apply. Do I need to be an object mode for that? Yes. Nah. I mean, the I don't think the modifier will help us here. <laughs> right. So, what do we need to bevel? The handles, at least where you grip them, should be a bit heavier, right? On the... On the, the beveling. So, I think it's uh, these we need to select, right? Only the four... Right? So like this. And then we bevel them. To like, I don't know. Uh, 0 0.005 0 .00 maybe? How does this look? A lot of numbers. They are a bit in the way now. Hey. I think it looks good, right? Wait, something is weird about it. Or is it? Do I need to do something else? For well, one, I would extend the front traveling until the top and bottom. What <laughs> did you just say? There's the edges and the vertical above and below the edges you have left. These? Or what do you mean? I mean these. Yeah. I should select those. I would add those as well. Maybe we select the one at the back of the handle for now and only do the front. Uh, so these I should deselect, you say? What? Where? Oh, this one. Okay, and now bevel. Mm -hmm. Bye again, let's zero, 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 five. You think? I hate that this window just 
does not pop up. 0 0.002. Okay, like this. Do I need to do the inner ones even? Because like... Right, they uh, they aren't visible like anyway. Maybe <laughs> so what do you mean? We need to do it. After all. I'm not sure how to do it without dragging it. Okay, so I just round the other edges. What? Wrong. Yes. Don't think we need the inside, right? Hello? The inside we don't really need, right? So, should I also not do these here, this three? So let's leave them out. Like it, yes. On the back side. We bevel by zero point zero zero two. This looks nice, I would say. What do you think? Maybe. What maybe? I can't see it well enough. Okay. It's probably fine. Yeah, should be. So okay. My eyes are draining now. Who are we going to rate? Come on, Snowden. Come on. Uh, right. It's been a while with Kimo, so yeah, why not? Let's go for Kimo. Okay, uh, I should do this. Ha! That's what we should do. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay, we right raid. Yeah, raid. That's the correct word. Over to Kemosobe. And you check out the Link links in the chat. In the chat. 
to my Twitter and Instagram and Discord, where I keep you updated, post stuff, all the good things, as well as to my merch store and my YouTube. So I hope to see you over there as well. And until next time, bye-bye.